Hello to you. I'm Jesse R. Johnson, and I'll be reading to you from the Sacred Scriptures of the Holy, Holy Atheist Sutras. This is Part 5, and this is Chapter 2, The Pages of the Order of All Things. I am going to move the camera upward. Hold on, please. Good evening to you once again. This is the order of all things, the sacred sutras, one. Verse one, there is an order to all things. There is no true chaos in nature that is discernible, only degrees of order. To the most seeming level of disorder, to the most complex level of order, which is the eternal, transcendental, non-physical universe and physical universe itself. Two, for the purpose of human understanding, the order of all things, it is totally and utterly inclusive in the patterns of this form. Number one, fundamentals, demons and sciences. Number two, universe, demons and sciences, earth, Number three, earth, demons and sciences. Number four, life, demons and sciences. Number five, our kind, demons and sciences. Verse three, the word demon means and is equal to the word science. A, the word demon in its original form means, its original definition means, number one, to, to know, number two, to have knowledge of, number three, to have divine knowledge, number four, to comprehend, grasp, to fully understand, to know for a fact. We'll go to B. The word science means, number one, to know, two, to have knowledge of three, the systematic means and methods to gain knowledge, four, the systematic categorization and organization of knowledge, the order of all things, fourth verse, 4a, fundamentals, this includes these sciences and demons, one, awakened, Two, dimensions. Three, systems. Four, physicals. Four, B, universe, includes these sciences and demons. One, cosmos, physicals, and mechanics. Two, cosmos. Three, heavens. Four, earth systems. Four, C, earth includes these sciences and demons. One, lithos. Two, atmos. Three, H2O. Four, life. Four, D. Life includes these sciences and demons. One, ecologic. Two, evolution. Three, taxonomic, etc. Four, E. Our kind includes these sciences and demons. One, life mechanics or biology. Two, sociology or social. And three, cultural or culturology. Verse five, fundamentals. This includes number one, awakened. The awakened sciences and demons includes Da Frijan. Osho Rajnish, Eckhart Tolle, Nasagadatta. Number two, Dimensions. 
This includes the three areas of transcendental, physical, and qualitative. Next is systems. Systems includes systemology and systematics. The next one is physicals. This includes classical physics, modern physics, Tesla physics, Akashic physics. Number six, universe. Universe includes these, cosmos physical, which includes its mechanics. Next, number two is cosmos, which includes systems motions, material content of the universe and its structure. Three is cosmic, origins or non-origins, also its structure. The next one is heavens. The heavens include firmament, beyond firmament, earth systems, ours. Number seven, the seventh verse, earth. This includes number one, lithos, which is the solid earth layers. Number two, atmos, which is the gaseous earth layers. Number three, H2O forms, which is water, liquid, ice, solid, vapor, gaseous. The next one is number four, the living earth layers and its forms. The eighth verse, life. This includes the, the mechanics of life and its structures. Two, the ecology and its structures. Three, the evolution, which includes general evolution, specific evolution, and structures. The fourth one is taxonomic which includes 11 classification levels of all life on this earth. Verse number 9, our kind, mechanics or biological, which includes medical, ecologic, evolution, etc. The next one for our kind is sociology, which includes 40 divisions. The next one, number 3, is culturalology which includes 40 divisions. The 10th verse, we are all the center of the universe because everywhere is the center of the universe. We are all significant because everything, no matter what it is, is significant. We are all important because everything is important. Verse number 11, significance and importance is relative you can say it is not, but the other person will say it is. Verse 12, you are the most important one to ever be. So it is, every, so is every other living being and thing unto itself. Verse 13, every living being, no matter what type of life it is, has one breath. You take it in when you're conceived, whether born or hatched, and you let it go when you leave here forever. Verse 14. There's a beyond the heavens above our heads where the sun, moon, stars are, and a beyond the below of the earth beneath our feet. What is that? No, not the imaginary one God or gods of all the religions of the earth, of the forever past, present, nor the forever in the future. That humans in their frailness and weaknesses have produced over tens of thousands of years with their thousands of different cultures and values over that time. Verse 15, we, our kind, must develop, evolve to know it. How do we go past the heavens from our flat surfaced earth platform plane to know and find out? Or do we simply stay here and develop and evolve into them? For they are the Akashic Amaritinati, 
the total all-inclusive universe in a grain of sand, so to speak. Verse 16, all, all religions without exception are monsters, whether they are subtle, condemning intelligence, life, sex, women, and so on, or gross, murdering hundreds, thousands, or millions in genocides, oppressions, slavery, raping creativity in every manner, and so forth, with all of their justifications. This has been the reading of the second chapter of the Sacred Scriptures of the Holy, Holy Atheist Sutras, the second chapter which is the pages of the order of all things. This has been part five and part six will be coming soon from the sacred scriptures. I want, I'm Jesse R. Johnson and I want to thank everyone for listening and watching and we will see each other soon and have a good to very good day. Mm-hmm.